I think there's a lot of people that are, that are, that are neglected in, in, in art. I don't know if because of, if it's who made the paintings or what. Not, not, not or not even portrayed. I mean, not even portrayed in modern art enough. It's just um for a change, you know. I don't think about art when I'm working. I try to think about life. Art is key. Once a stranger asked me what I would do instead of art. That time I didn't have an answer. And up till today, I still don't have one. It seems like I can feel art in my chest. I can smell art. I can taste art. I can even see more colors than the ones actually existing in this world. Probably, that would explain why it hurts so much when art isn't there. Once police asked me to pay a fine of 600 US dollars for my art which I was doing on my friend's building. When I rejected, they told me that I'm going to jail. And believe me, the only one thing that I could think of was how colorful the jail would be having my murals on the wall. A criminal who took so many people's lives is released, but an artist who spreads colors is still chased by different inspections. Do you know any part of the world where art doesn't exist? Do you know any country where none of the artists lives? Would you ever stop an athlete from his morning jogs? No. So why do we stop artists from colors that they so much used to? I always say that art is like a cat. You can admire cats, but decide not to keep any in your house. With art, it applies the same. Some people are just not ready to invest in it unless it comes to their doorsteps for free. restaurant Pablo Picasso, the world's most influential artist at the time, got interrupted by a fan who handed over a napkin to him and said, could you sketch something for me? I'll pay you for it. Name your price. In response, Picasso pulled out a charcoal pencil from his pocket and swiftly sketched an image of a goat. The man reached out to collect the napkin, but Picasso withheld it. You owe me a hundred thousand dollars. The man was outraged. 100,000? Why? That took you no more than 30 seconds to draw. Picasso then crumpled up the napkin and stuffed it into his pocket. You are wrong. It took me 40 years. If I would ask you to look in the mirror, you'll most definitely see your reflection. The art masterpiece isn't much different. Everyone sees their own reflection and creates their own interpretation. But the real you, the real art, 
isn't always about the reflection. It's what you see beyond it. So much pride outside the art world. So many people keep telling us, I could do it myself, while standing next to our studio doors. Their ego, proving us to have a better taste and still avoid colorful socks. Their ego, proudly showing off the interior, but hiding the leather sofa under cover so it doesn't get old. Their ego saying, I have the professional camera while they don't see the right angle. The real world without ego knows that art is not about tools. It knows that art never gets old or boring. The real world without ego knows that art, art is, is the, the key. key.